Don't worry, Elmo. Just hang on. We're at the hospital. We made it to the hospital. Doctor, doctor, you've got to help him. He was mauled by a dog. His neck. Put him on the table. Why does the table look like a piece of plywood? The operating table. An operating table? Stand back. Stand, what the? Whoa! He's cured. Jesus Christ! You killed him! Cremation will work best for this. Back in the old days, they used to scare their enemies from the asshole up. He has certainly seen better days. Mm -hmm. Now, before we uh, butchered and chopped him, he actually did move, so he does have batteries in him. I think as soon as the executioner hit his, um, hit his neck, I think that's when he stopped moving, because his mouth would move, his arms would move, he'd talk, he'd make noise. It was kind of cool and creepy at the same time. Now, I have no problems doing this because me personally, I like me some Cookie Monster and I like Grover. I never really liked Elmo. I thought he was a pussy. Elmo, just... Hey, dumb fuck! Say hi to the YouTube audience! And here we go. Oh, come watch! We're gonna set Elmo on fire! Whoa, that's a lot of fire! That is a very, very efficient cremation device you've got there, Zombert. Look at that. The fire is like just coming out. Like it's like it's like screw the cage. I'm out of here, man. Whoa, that is really going to town. This should not take very long at all. Ah! Elmo's on fire! Wow, that is really, really on fire right now. But the fire has sort of calmed down now. Like it's not coming out of the, uh, it's not really coming out of the cage as much as it was when I first started. You know, orange and red, they actually really go good together. I like, I like that combo of colors. There's not much Elmo left. I'm really just willing to let this burn down all the way. Wasn't there a song by Aerosmith that went like that? Elmo's got a gun. Oh, this genie's got a gun. Right, right. I always get those two mixed up. Must you? Like, do you really have to do that? Yes, I do. Okay. Not only am I the demolitionist, I'm also someone who likes that leads. So a psychopath. Don't you call me what I am. So Elmo uh, is quite on fire right now, like I said that already. I was kind of expecting him to survive a lot, little bit longer so that we could like put it out and see how he fared after his cremation, but if we really are cremating him, then we really have to let it go all the way. Because that's what a cremation is, and if there's... Oh, there was a movie, right? There was a movie, Elmo's Ashes. No, wait, I think that's Angela's Ashes. Oh, battery. Unless that was you popping something again to, to throw us off. Threw you off on the uh, laptop, did I not? Yeah, and probably the entire audience. So I think we can probably put it out now. Yeah. Nah? 
Nah. It's a cremation. You have to burn it. Well, I think the only thing that's left of him is his battery now, so. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to burn. Yeah, it'll burn. See if you can fish him out. There's like water on the bottom of the thing that we can sort of use to put it out. There's a battery there. Yeah, he's actually a lot of him, a lot more of him survived than I thought. But I can see where the energizer sign is. Fresh Elmo meat for supper. I think it's a little overdone though. Nope. Done just right. Yeah, I feel like it extra crispy. Uh, what kind of what, what what kind of cut of meat do you figure that is? <laughs> well, that water just went from clean to ew. Yeah, what what cut of meat do you do you reckon that is right there? Red meat. Smells good. Well, I think I think that right there was one of his eyes. Just kind of. Flip them. Oh, that's that's really solid and crusty. Yeah. Those well. The yeah. There's some of the batteries there. Some of the electronics on the inside here. Yeah. Well, that's he's quite cremated. So anyway, on that happy note, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you for the next episode. So until then, peace out.